So everybody start eating and start dating. We're getting cozy and crabby in a delicious way. The world of dating can be awkward and even messy. Not unlike, ooh, eating crab. So in our final face-off between the sexes, we're uniting some singles who are taking a crack at finding love while taking a crack at eating crab. Yummy. The guys have arrived. We're having a night of introductions through rendezvous speed dating and a blind taste test. It's a chance for everyone to meet three potential love connections, changing dinner dates every 10 minutes. These are the rules. You must talk about crab within that 10 minutes. How you feel about the flavor of the crab, the texture and everything. When the 10 minutes are up, you move to your left, except for us. Because <laughs> we're going to be tasting too, but we're not dating. <laughs> so before we begin, James is going to teach us how to properly eat crab. With fresh being the focus, we paid a visit to George Harris, whose family has been importing seafood for three generations. If you're shopping for crab, make sure that the crabs are alive. A certain time after it's dead, within probably 24 hours, it starts to get an ammonia smell to it. And that's a, that's a sure sign, you know, that you shouldn't be eating that crab. And George says crab is kind of like flowers. You want to buy what's in season. Uh, when fish is out of season, there's typically less of it around, and it, it may tend to be higher price at that time. When you're buying live crab, they don't usually let you pick it up. That's why we have our friend Chris here helping out. Now, there are certain things to look for. You definitely want the liveliest crab in the tank. You also want to press the legs to make sure they're firm. He's a feisty one. And don't forget to look for a crab that's heavy for its size. Always smell for freshness and sweetness. Smell it. Yum. <laughs> Work at the knuckle, break it away from you just to separate it to get it to a smaller working piece. Use the cracker, crack it that way, give it a little twist to break it down. Oh, there we go. And once you get it open, get your pick in there, pull out the meat. So everybody start eating and start dating. So here's what's on the menu. First, the snow crab found in the North Atlantic and Pacific. It's most commonly sold in leg portions. Next, Dungeness crab, the most common Pacific Coast variety, and it's known for its delicate pink flesh. Finally, the king crab, caught mostly in the Gulf of Alaska, it's a popular and pricey variety with a rich flavor. A much cheaper option is imitation crab, which is usually made from Alaskan pollock. Now the claim is that once it's ground up, you can't really taste the difference between the fake and the real. So let's try the real. Mmm, so good. Imitation. It's meatier. The flavor is different. It's crab inspired. <laughs> it's easy to see the difference between real and imitation crab, but if it's hidden, can we taste the difference? It's very bland. Mm -hmm. It tastes like rice and avocado and something, something in the middle. <laughs> and that one, you really taste the crab. Yes, I agree. Using real crab in a lot of dishes will cost you anywhere from 30 to 100% more than using the imitation crab. We really noticed a difference, and we think it's worth it. Mmm, where's the melted mm, butter? Mmm, it's good, isn't mm -hmm. it? When it comes to real live crab, it will take more than a can opener to prepare it. You'll want to actually uh, kill it first and then move it as quickly as possible to going straight into the water. What I like to do is I'm just going to cut it in half. I didn't mean to see that. Oh, well. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. So we got it all cleaned up. All right. and in he goes. Would you like me to be your sous chef? Uh, sure. Oh, well, that works. Crab. <laughs> oh, wow, that's a lot yeah. of salt. You want to make it like how he's coming from the sea. Right, pretty much. yeah. You can feel a cold. You'll want to go like between five and ten minutes. The secret to a good crab is having your water really hot and boiling. It's giving a shock to the, the shell or to the crab. Okay. So this in turn will make it easier for you to eat and you'll get more of the meat as well. You can also cook frozen legs this way. Just add five minutes. Pretty much this is done. You can eat this at this point, except you know you'll want to add a sauce on there. Ready to go. Excellent. Yeah. He had a different kind of flavor. Yeah. It didn't take long for us to notice that in this room, it wasn't just the crab that was making an impression. Things were starting to get a bit steamy for these speed daters. Uh, 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 
Venom. So it was an evening of fun, flirting, and feasting. At least for those of us who had a date. All right, time's up, dating's over. These singles have gotten to know each other and the world of crab in the process. He was quite fishy. The snow crab, the most affordable choice, offered a strong seafood taste, which only Lisa enjoyed. I found it more flavorful. I definitely like seafood, so it, it appealed to me. I also found it meaty, and the texture um, was a little bit more consistent. King crab, the costliest of the bunch, offered lots of flavor without a lot of work. Just because I, I'm not a big fan of having to work real hard to get the good stuff to eat, so I, I like it. I thought it was really rich and salty and very flavorful. But for three quarters of our group, we like to earn our reward, and the Dungeness crab delivered. It tasted the best, for sure, and it was the hardest to get into, so. And you like the challenge? I do like the challenge. Oh. She likes the challenge. There's just so much more meat to it. Tasted more flavorful. I like the texture, like it stayed together and didn't seem to flake as much, at least for me. I like the challenge, like similar to you, Rebecca. Um, and I also. Oh, <laughs> I too like the challenge of the harder work. And I find, more importantly, that um, I could eat more of eight. I actually found it more flaky than some of the others, but I kind of expect that from crab, and it had like a nice, mild taste. So I'm gonna go with A, but it's very close between A and B. The Dungeness crab was the clear winner when it came to our taste test. As for the dates, well, there were certainly some favorites as well. Well, for the crab and the company. Oh! oh. Thirty contestants battle it out for big.